Hi everyone. Um, my little trick today is a method for pulling in a website into your Canvas page so that students don't have to leave Canvas in order to uh, read some other materials. This is good for people that want to use OER materials or on occasion have students look at another website without um, leaving Canvas. If you look at my example here for my mythology uh, course, I have brought in a um, article from Hartford Current, um, Greek Myth Energizes Pulp Culture. And if you look, I can scroll up and down and I can see the entire article. Um, and this is what my students would see. And the steps are pretty easy. You don't need to know programming. And if you're interested in this, let me know and I can send you the directions in case um, any of this is missing. So the first thing I do is I go to the website that I want to bring in. Most websites are going to work well. Every once in a while you might try one and it doesn't really work. Um, again, you know, do the best you can with it. But what you do is you take the URL of the website that you want to pull into your Canvas course and you copy it. Then you go to an iframe generator and there's many of them there, but I recommend this one because it allows you to uh, control the height and width by pixels and by percentages. So um, again, you know, email me if you need it. But the website is called frontendresource.com slash iframe hyphen generator slash. So I go into it, and the first thing I do is I paste my um, domain from the other site. Then here you should go and put the name of either the website or the article that you're putting in. Um, I'll just put name. Um, for the interest of um, keeping it short. For the width, I recommend doing 100%. That way, uh, whatever you bring into your Canvas course will resize for their telephone apps, um, and it will resi resize for laptops and computers. So it'll be 100% width regardless of uh, what they're using. For height, um, I recommend about 600 or so. You can play around with it and decide what you think works. For height, keep it to pixel. Um, the other thing I recommend is putting the scroll bar in because if the page um, that you're bringing in is kind of long, you want them to have the ability to scroll up and down. Uh, your choice about the border, I don't usually do that. So after you've put the settings that you want, you generate my code. Then you go down here and you click on copy code. So now I have this code in here and then I go back to the page that I want to um, create the um, iframe. So you go and create a page. I'm going to edit because I already have it here. And when you create the page, you can go ahead and, and type in an introduction, whatever it is that you want. But when you're ready to um, put in the iframe, you're going to go into the HTML. And remember, you don't need to know coding. You just need to go and click on switch to HTML editor. And then at the very bottom, go ahead, and I usually put them between the, the two P's because that's a, a nice placeholder, but you go ahead and you paste the code right into it. And then after you paste the code, you can hit save, and you will see your web page popping up into the page on Canvas and giving the students the ability to read it. So I hope this is useful to you. Again, I think it's going to be really good for people using OER materials. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me about it. So now we'll go to Mary Wallace. And so Mary, remember when we could meet for a quick lunch between classes?